Hey everyone, it's Janine here, and in a few moments, I'll be announcing which dynamic stretching video you voted for as your favorite so far. Meanwhile, I've been getting some questions on the difference between dynamic stretching and static stretching. So today, let's practice both of them. Let's start with dynamic stretching. Dynamic stretching uses active movements to help you warm up your muscles and prepare them for additional exercise or a full yoga class. It has been shown to strengthen muscles and joints and increase power, speed, and agility in athletes and also reduce the risk of injury. Grab a strap. And in case you need it for balance, grab a chair. You're going to place it at the top of your mat with the back of the chair facing towards you. Other optional props, you might want two blocks. And then if you have sensitive knees, make sure you grab a blanket. And let's get started. Notice how much your pelvic floor lifting helps you here. Step the leg back and forward and then back, and then forward. Now option, if you can, to lift the arms up. You might find this easier or harder. And then exhale, back to center. Inhale, step the left leg back. Exhale, forward. Let's do Utkatasana with our arms overhead. So inhale, Utkatasana, arms overhead. And then exhale, back to center. Inhale. Utkatasana, exhale, Tadasana, inhale, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale. Find your right leg, bend your right leg out in front of you. So lift it up, keep it bent, and then set it down. That's it. So we're just warming up. So feel the shift as you root down through the left foot, lift up through the right leg, and lower it down. We're going to keep it up, lift it up. And now, as you exhale, straighten the leg. As you inhale, bend the knee. Keep it here. Exhale, straighten. Your leg might not be though so high. It might be down here. Okay. Bend the knee. Straighten. And bend. And straighten. Straighten. And bend. And then lower the leg down. Movement. If you have a blanket, put it in the middle of your mat and then come to hands and knees. And then bring one foot forward. So let's start with our right foot forward. So, right away, if your hands do not reach the floor, that's when you use the blocks. One hand underneath, block underneath each hand. And so, wherever you're at, Bring your front knee and your hips forward, and then bring them back, and then forward, and back. And the back foot can be uncurled, or you could curl the toes up there. Your choice. Back. So now add, inhale, forward, exhale, back to center. Inhale, forward, and then exhale. Backward. Now you need your pelvic floor turned on. Outer hips draw in towards each other. Pubic bone, tailbone move towards each other. Lift all four corners in towards each other and up towards the crown of your head. This is going to help you balance because now come up and either bring your hands to your hips. Maybe you want to clasp your wrists or your elbows, or if you can, clasp your hands. Behind you. Inhale, forward, exhale, then inhale, exhale. Have on hand. And you're going to take the strap in your arm in your hands in front of you, maybe super wide if you're tight, or closer together if you're not as tight. The trick is to keep your spine in neutral and use your breath. Inhale, arms overhead, and exhale, arms back and down. 
and then inhale to come back up and exhale down as you keep moving with this. All these are from my Gomukhasana series. So this one in particular from the one having to do with the using the strap. So I'll link that down below in the whole series. But let's come to lying on our backs. Lying supine. Arms by your side. So start with your palms facing towards your body. And then inhale your arms out to a T. Exhale, arms back down by your side. Spine stays in neutral the whole time. Inhale, up to a T. Exhale, down. Full breath. Inhale. And exhale. So you're forming a upside down V here. And then up to a T. Letters of the alphabet. First, let's do active static stretching. This is where one group of muscles engage to allow the opposite group of muscles to relax. Let's begin by doing a high lunge. Crescent pose. Step your right leg forward. Tuck your back toes under. Lift your back knee off the ground so the right knee is over the left ankle. And then if you like, inhale, arms overhead. Take a breath, and then exhale, set everything down, other side. So you're just holding, see? Lift the arms up, lift the back leg up, and can you feel the stretch coming across the right hip flexors maybe as your hamstrings engage, glutes are engaged? And then exhale or down. Let's do Utkatasana. So you're going to take your feet together, four feet wide, doesn't matter which. And then instead of the moving thing that we did, Utkatasana. Sit your hips back, arms up. So basically, whenever you're not doing flow series in yoga, instead you're holding the position. You could think of this as your active static stretching. And then come up. Take a breath. Ekahasta Paragastasana. Let's stand on our left leg. First two fingers, grab the big toe. And then stretch it out in front of you. You do not need to do this with your hand. You can do it with your strap wrapped around the ball of your foot. So you can feel this engage, quads engage, hamstring stretch. And then other side, stand on right leg, stretch out left leg. Lower the leg down, low lunge. Anjane Asana, come to your hands and knees, step your right leg forward and stretch. Reach your arms overhead if that's appropriate for you today. And you're just holding rather than moving. Feel the difference. Lower the arms, switch sides. So today, not holding too long. Stretch, breathe. Exhale, hands come down. Let's bring our strap into play here. Shoulder flossing stretch. So instead of flossing our shoulders, we're just going to hold it. You choose how wide. Again, more narrow, or it's more challenging. And you're going to bring the strap behind you. Okay. 
lift the arms. Shoulder blades come together. And the base of the chin stretches, reaches back. And that's it. Spine is in neutral. So you can feel the back muscles working and the chest stretches. And then release. And then get the strap out of the way. Lie down on your backs and stretch your arms out to the side. So you're lying down on your back. And really you can stretch your arms wherever you like. They can be by your side palms face in, they can be out to a T, they could be overhead. One of these positions and you're not moving, you're stretching. So you'll feel the muscles in your shoulders working so that the chest gets an opening, different depending on where your arms are. And then lower your arms down. And the winner is high lunges stepping back. I will post a link here as well as putting one down below. Now let's practice passive static stretch. Grab the two blocks if you have them. If you don't, don't worry about it. You don't necessarily need them. They're going to be for support. Supta Baddha Konasana. Bring the soles of your feet together. Um, supine bound, bound angle pose. Knees are going to be open. So you can lie down on your backs first. And then the blocks go right underneath the outsides of both legs. So the legs are even, evenly stretching. Arms down by your sides, palms face up, and you can allow your eyes to close. And you'll notice this one is completely, like it sounds, passive, which means all of your muscles are relaxed and there is external force being placed on to you. Maybe sometimes it's another person. In this case, it's gravity. You may stay here as long as you like. Thank you so much for joining me, and I look forward to working with you again very soon. Namaste.